Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, we're gonna look at the VNAV functionality and specifically how to set it up uh, for the Boeing 787, which received a massive update as part of the aircraft and avionics update number two, right? The, the update is currently in beta, right? While well, recording this video, so it could be that in the, if you look at this video later, when the update is finally released, some things might have changed, but this is just to make you aware of some new stuff which is coming. So we just programmed our flight, as you can see, right? Uh, we also set up the uh, performance settings. So now it's time to set up the uh, VNAV settings. So if you're not aware how to set up the performance settings, then have a look at this video, which uh, you can see at the top, because that contains, I say, a full walkthrough and how you can set up the performance settings. So to access the VNAV part, we're going to press VNAV. So if you did everything correctly, you should see that the uh, flight level, right, the cruise altitude has been added. You can see the economical, the econ speed has been set, uh, as well as the speed for the uh, transition, as well as the transition alt, as well as the AT uh, Europe. So these settings are already there for you. If for some reason you're missing the econ speed, then go back to the performance settings and make sure that you programmed everything correctly. Because if you miss something, it could result in that the data not being visible here. As you can see, in this part, we don't need to do much. However, there's an option here which says climb forecast. So what you can do is you can add certain climb forecasts. That's depending on the altitude and the temperature, but also on the wind speed and wind direction. You can see that the transitional altitude, or the transition altitude, sorry, is set to 18,000. So where do we get this nice information from? Well, that's where SimBrief will help you. So if we go to SimBrief, right, which you see over here, and if you scroll down in your uh, plan, you will find it in most cases on page 7, right? But let me show you quickly. Uh, if I go to the top, this is where you normally start, right, with all the view details, flight details. And when you scroll down, uh, you will see the, uh, at one point, you will find the wind information. And the wind information contains a lot of information because, as you can see, it contains a few entries here, which stand for the altitude. It contains the uh, wind direction and the wind speed, as well as the temperature. Now, you might ask yourself, hey, but why does it show five altitudes? Because it does make sense, right? So in my case, I've been assigned flight level 400, right? So that's this one. So why do I see 420 and 440 entry, 80 entry, 60? As far as I understood, that's by default. They will always provide you the two values above and the two values below uh, to get some indications, right? To give you some more information. So how can we program this flight? Well, in this case, what we can do is we can say, okay, hey, at flight level 400 at Kuro, it's minus 51 degrees Celsius. So let's go back to flight simulator in this case. And then we can set it, right? So flight level 400, then the dash, then minus, don't forget to set the minus, 51, and then we're pressing the option here. You can set, now see that it has added the flight level as well as the temperature. Now go back and let's look at the wind. 77, 18 knots. So we're going to add it again. So we're going to say 77 and 18 knots. You don't need to add the uh, zero in front of it. Well, actually, <laughs> it looks like you need to do it. Pretty weird. I think I tested this and it worked also without, but hey, let's do it the official way, 018, and then press the option here. Now it has added the wind direction as well as the wind speed. Going back to the flight plan, you can see that we've got different flight levels, right? At MPOP, we're redirected to 390. So let's also add that one, 390. 390 minus 59. Press the option again, and then going back and look at the values 26 and 33. Add it over here. And so on and so on, right? So what you what I understood is that you need to add or the more value you add the more accurate it is but for the purpose of this video i will not enter everything but i will simply look okay hey where does it change flight level again well that's at vabic 
they're changed to 230 uh, minus 27 dash uh, minus 27 and we're also gonna add to 16 or 90 19 and that's where we have it and then we can say request right that's the only thing you need to do you can see that there's a next page right which simply gives you more entries so now if you go back to the climb page you initially don't see much changing sometimes you see that it adjusts the speeds a bit but it makes it sure that you at least have programmed the uh, climb part of your uh, or the climb forecast as optimal as possible now, when you've done that, you can go to the next page. On the next page, you will see again the cruise altitude. You can see the econ speed. Uh, don't ask me why here they show both the uh, max speed as the knots. Probably that's so say something they will fix in a future update, uh, but it's kind of unexpected. Now, what you will see here is that it will show me the uh, ETA when we're arriving at the airport, but you also see that in this case, it has, I would say, not set the to slash uh, to. So to populate this, you need to do the following. Go to the departure and arrivals, right? Once you've done that, you need to select the airport from which you're, I would say, or the airport to which you're flying. So in this case, EBBR. And then make sure that you're selecting, uh, I would say, the approach. Make sure that the transition is set correctly and then hit execute. Now when we're going back to the VNAV page and press the next one, you will see that the top of, uh, or what is it, the TO value or the TO, oh, 2 TD value, that's it. It's a little bit hard to read. So that means the top of descent, this is where it's going to start descending, right? So that's 1426, that's the time, and then the uh, nautical miles also behind it. Then we're entering next, you will see that there is another value, right? Another page. And the other page says, okay, hey, this is the waypoint altitude. That's Kirky. That's at Kirky, we need to be at 7,000. Uh, that's the uh, that's the speed, or that's the altitude, sorry. And if you want, you can define uh, certain speed restrictions, right? So in those speed restrictions, you will find in your flight plan uh, if you want to have it there. You can still click the forecast, right? Because this is the descent forecast. So we initially look at, looked at the climb forecast, but now we're gonna look at the descent forecast. So for me, it's I would say a little bit vague because how do I need to make sure that I'm ending the descent forecast? Well, what I did in this case is I entered, uh, I will enter this one, the top of descent and the descent one. So the 230 minus 27. And then we've got the 216.090. And then we've got the final one, which is 200. Dash, oh, I've got um, minus 20. And then we've got 213.014. So that's that, and then we press the desk page again. So it could again be that it changed values, and now you can see that it has updated the values, but it has, I would say, mixed the knots and the, uh, uh, what is it? And the max speed, uh, but hey, that's it. Uh, you don't need to change um, other things. This is, I would say, how it needs to be. And this is how you can simply program the VNAV. So again, the forecast for descent, and I would say climb is a little bit vague to me. It could be that I'm getting it wrong, that you can also say, okay, hey, the top of climb uh, needs to be uh, this value plus this value. That could be, but I'm not sure about it. If you know it, then leave a comment in the uh, comment box of this video so all the people are also aware which ones to use. But this is at least how you can, say, pre-program pre your VNAV uh, functionality by also using the forecast functionality which has been added as part of uh, AAU number two which is currently in beta. Here ends this video. I hope you liked it. 
If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.